That was kind of cool. They got a lot of really cool environments in here, which I like. And I don't mind the, uh, the, the textures and graphics being simple. That's actually, actually, I kind of prefer it that way. It reminds me of Borderlands a little bit with the... With the, uh... The art style and just kind of how some of the gameplay goes, too. I mean, it's not as, um... Overwhelming with the amount of loot that you get or with the amount of enemies that you face. But it's, it's got, in my mind, some similar sim similarities that uh, I, I enjoy. Uh, down, doggy. Alright, let's keep going. Ooh, let's, let's hold on. Let's see if I can... I like doing this every now and then just to see. Only trace quantities detected. So did you get 90% of the time? Where am I going? Okay, just keep going this way. Ares response requested. I could be using this thing. Uh, these things are so cool. There we go. Come on. Come on out. Okay, this is not an Ariana infestation, but it is an infestation, so that's good. Oh, come on. Unfortunately, with them being flying, my bomb, my grenade, doesn't work on them. Oop, okay, that's fun. That's fun. Level 19. I think I'm level 20. Yeah, that place I started is the last time I've seen, uh, started the video at. Is the last time I've seen one of these guys, but they were like level 10, maybe. So pretty freaking easy to kill at that level when I'm at level like 20. This guy is gonna be a little bit, a little bit more of a beast than the last time I tried facing him. However, he doesn't seem to be posing too much of a threat just yet. Not sure what this uh, red and green vortex is doing for him, but it seems intimidating. Now I know I should be using my other one, but I. I have limited ammo for this one, whereas I have unlimited ammo for that little submachine gun there. Come on. And die. Alright, let's take out these two little guys. And being a recon class, I thought I would get, you know, the traditional, like, sniper rifle, bolt action sniper rifle. Or at least something where you get, like, pretty long range. And, uh... You know, a, little, like, a smaller end clip, long range, with a uh, slightly longer reload time instead of this, you know, Halo-esque DMR that I got. And I, I've, I've had... This is this is about the extent I've had for sniper rifles since the beginning of the game, this Halo-esque DMR thing. That's my closest comparison, comparison that I have. Ooh, daily bounty completed. Does that, did that count as the, um... Nope, it didn't count as the Arana. But it did count as a bounty. Super bugs. Teleport beacon. Alright, while I'm here, I'll probably just uh, cut through this. I'm gonna I'm gonna try to salvage some of this stuff. Ooh, that's better than what I got right now. Alright, so that can go. Because I don't think you can sell these. I tried to look in the stores and it didn't seem to have a sell button. It seems to be more useful to just salvage them so I can upgrade other things later on easier. And all you get from these is uh, parts and sometimes some of the crystite stuff. But those parts you use to upgrade, um, like when I talked about upgrading my um, grenade, my fragmentation grenade, I use parts from this stuff right here to upgrade the fragmentation grenade. And usually some credits depends on uh, the level. Ooh, uh, okay, I want to put that there. Ooh, that's even better. No, no, no. I haven't been paying attention very much here for the last few minutes while well, I'm clicking on stuff. Oh yeah, and this is some of the stuff I was talking about. So it gives you uh, powered servos, basically just a really good punch. Oh, come on! What the fuck is... Oh, a little defend mission down here. Oh, fuck, that's probably going to come back and bite me in the ass. Is that everybody? Ooh, awesome. I killed one guy and I get a ton of credit for it. Sweet! And I get freeze grenades. So, um... 
Alright, can I finish what I was doing now? Did not expect that. Um, Alright, let's pop back into here. The awesome part is it saves what you're doing. Ooh, ooh. So, fragmentation grenade, which is what I have right now. Uh, cool down 10 seconds, so... There we go. Save that. Get rid of this. So yeah, you have some swords and stuff here, which are, are which are all pretty awesome. Usually, um, yeah, that can go corrosive grenades. Yeah, that was a, the first grenade I ever used. See right there, cool down 40 seconds. That's that's not fun. Battle hammer. That'd be cool to use. Ooh, uh, ooh, a lot more damage. Oh, the cool down. I'm gonna save it just in case. This does a ton of damage, extra, an extra 2,500 damage, but it takes 40 seconds to cool down compared to 10 seconds. That's just not that useful. So, I'm going to hold on to it, though. Alright, let's start getting rid of some of these just weapons I'm never going to ever want to use. Alright, ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, both these are more powerful. This one's more powerful by 126? Shit. Uh, yeah, and I got an enhancer in this one. And it's got, uh... Less rounds per second. Um, takes longer to fire, and it has 3 meters less of range. But it's got 126 extra damage. And it's got... And it adds four to my item level that I can use. So I'm going to use, yeah, this guy. And this guy right here, I'm going to have to, ooh, no, 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 no. Pull that socket out of, just so I can get that back, that module. And I'm, yeah, I'm going to try to do that right now, actually. So 58 items. Uh, artillery strike one and cooled remote explosive one. Contains modules or upgrades. Continue. Hold on. Artillery strike one should be an upgraded. Cooled remote explosive one. That's ah, another upgraded one. No modules that I'm wasting here, so let's just hit yes. And I get 56 battle frame parts, 30 weapon parts, and 19 ability parts. And as big as numbers as like these two right here seem, that's really not that much considering I've seen some weapon upgrades, especially like. Uh, upgrades 2 and 3 for my primary weapons take a good 30 to 50 parts. Um, so, okay, let's examine. There we go, that's how you take it out. Unslot module, accept. And I get the module back. So let's go back, let's mouse over it. The only thing that's better, yeah, it's really not that much better. So I'm actually just going to salvage it. And I could probably trade it to somebody, but whatever. Yeah, it's been upgraded twice, but this guy is obviously a ton better. Yeah, see, because it's got the up upgrades, gave me some crystalite. Well, I hope I'm speaking clearly enough for everybody. Sometimes I feel like um, I'm slurring my words a lot, especially when I get pretty damn tired. Oh, where the heck was I even trying to go? Recovery payload. Enter the battle lab. There we go. See that big bright light right there? Ooh, actually, this will be fun. Woohoo! Huh. Uh, I think I think they could uh, work on the jumps and ramps and stuff on this a little better because it feels like you lose a lot of velocity going uphill, or it'd be a little more fun to um. It'd be a little more fun if you uh. Could, get, could catch some massive air with some of these things in this game. Ooh, come on, come on, come on. Yeah, there we go. Right as my jetpack died. Sweet. And as you can see, I unlocked this little chunk right here. And now I can see all these extra little things to do in here a whole lot clearer. Look at this map. This map is pretty freaking cool. Three-dimensional map and all that. It reminds me of the Skyrim map, except from a top-down view instead of isometric, if that's what it's called. It is isometric, right? When you see it from kind of a kind of an angle. Somebody remind me. So I just get a bunch of experience for that. I get a 
at that. Usually it's just stuff that ties, it's like a welcome to our city or it ties in with uh, the storyline a little bit. Recovery payload, that's still sitting there. I can't tell if that's a big ship or just a big gun platform for protecting the city, or if it's just a repurposed ship. Looks like a repurposed ship for city defense. I want to see what's up here. Melding pocket transport. Oh, okay, if I need to go into the uh, the meld for something. Yeah, if you guys want to see me do a playthrough from the beginning with a new guy, you'll understand all the meld and what the uh, the chosen are and all that. I'm not going to take time to explain it right now. Especially since it's a free game and you can just go and find out yourself. So, okay, uh, I see a guy I can buy stuff from over here. Just want to see if I can buy a better gun or a better module or something from him. Oh no, it looks like a uh, module inserter, dude. Yeah. So, let's see if I can upgrade this at all. I can. Yeah, I see 21 parts just to upgrade this, and I have a 10% chance to get this. This will add 66, whereas usually I'll just get this where it adds 35, you know, like half damage. So, let's hit augment item. And... Oh my god, that's the first time that's actually ever happened. It gave me the, um, the critical upgrade. <laughs> I am probably going to be saving this one. Yeah, 1,071 damage per second. Holy crap. And I can augment it again. Alright. So augment number two. Please give me the crit. Please give me the crit. It's probably not, but... Yep, it didn't, but... Yeah, now I'm up to 1,096 per second. So, so it will add... A fair amount, but yeah, now you see I'm out of weapons parts, and I doubt I have enough to... Yeah, I need 32 for this one. Ooh, what did I say I wanted to upgrade? It was my grenade, which is... Where's my grenade? It was this one right here, right? Yeah. So, oh, it's weapon parts to do that. Damn it! That's disappointing. I only need 14, so when I collect some more parts, I'll come back here and upgrade it. Ooh. Um, however, what I can do is examine. And I can ha I have two upgraded slots. So what this does, if slotted in a weapon, improves its rate of fire and charge up speed. Increases damage, heal, uh, yeah, increases damage, healing, and shield health. This one does weapon magazine size this one does accuracy and handling ooh ooh i don't know if i want higher rate of fire or more damage i got my i got my submachine gun for a higher rate of fire so i'm going to do an increased damage and increase accuracy and handling so oh my god that adds an extra 101 damage to this uh adds 10% yeah, that, that really... Yeah, I don't need the extra magazine size. How much do I have in this magazine? Uh, 360 total, but in one magazine is 47. Yeah, that's fine. I don't need much more bigger than that. 47 is actually quite a bit if you think about it. So I'm going to install both of these. Hit accept. And to unslot these, it probably take a fair amount of coins, but those are easy to um, convert over. Where do you even convert them over? I can't remember. Um, let's grab my playtime reward up here. Oh, come on. There we go. Yay! And what do I get? What do I get? More experience. Cannot be traded. Clues. So where the heck do I even find these things? Are they in my... Not my perks. Factions. Oh, these are just my relations between other people. Inventory. Not in my inventory. Oh yeah, one thing that really um, pisses me off, not really pisses me off, but annoys me, is these chests right here. It's really freaking hard to find uh, keys for these chests. So I have 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 chests stored up right now that I can't open. Because if I try to go and hit activate, I must have a security key in my inventory. And there's all kinds of different chests, so a secure weapon locker needs a secure key. A broken weapon locker or a damaged weapon lo locker needs a damaged or broken key. An epic weapon locker needs an epic key, and so on and so forth. Which is kind of kind of bullcrap in my book, but whatever. See, I have one.